cover up that staple as well. So I'm definitely not with it today and that's okay but um, I'm showing up here anyway so I hope you don't mind. You'll have to excuse me if I uh, yeah, disappear on a tangent or something like that. So what I've been doing in order to try and get into something is to have a good rummage through my collage boxes and I've been flicking through my the journal I've been working on and I want to make some changes. I've gone off the front cover so I want to do that. And then I want to do some, I've got my sewing machine out over here and I want to sort of try and see if I can make a pocket or something. I've kind of found this really bright piece of old wrapping paper so I'm thinking that might be quite nice to make a pocket out of. And I've also been rummaging through the ephemera that I've been making the last few weeks and just sort of thinking how and where I want to use that within the journal. And then the other thing we've been doing this morning is having a meeting. James and I have been having a meeting because we've been designing our journals. So I don't want to give too much away now. I know I talked about it in quite a few of my recent art journaling videos because people keep saying to me, make your own journal. And I, I have wanted to over the years, but I haven't quite known how I want to approach it. And so I've got a couple of ideas of a really simplified version and then something a little bit more complicated. And of course, I really like the more complicated version. So I just had a big chat with James and because he's a designer you see so he can do all the layouts and so much more and make it look really polished and also in fitting with my style and and that kind of thing so yeah we just had quite an exciting creative chat about that it's probably going to be quite a long-term project a mid to long-term project so it's going to take us probably four to six months to get them ready but it's really exciting to have made the final decisions on some of the um some of the prep the pages and I am going to use some ideas from here as well so I wish I could hand make a journal for everybody that has asked me for a journal I really do and obviously these videos I've been doing recently have shown you how you can put together your own um, but yeah for people that don't want to put together their own maybe something a little bit more ready-made that's adaptable as well could be quite nice so that's kind of where we're heading with that and I love working with James creatively because he has a really creative mind but it's completely the opposite pretty much to mine so in collaboration together we usually come up with some really good ideas and um, yeah excited and my patrons don't know yet, but I'm going to be asking for input on um, some of the ideas as well. So they'll get to vote which options could be better. And, and then I will share on here as well the process, because I've never done anything like this before. So it's going to be really interesting to try it for the first time. Back to today then. So I'm going to do some sewing, um, paper sewing. And I've really gone off the front cover. So I need to either paint it or collage something on it. And uh, yeah, I found this um, vellum paper. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's, um, yeah, really nice. And it might make, thinking, kind of quite a nice cover. Or maybe I'll show you what I did yesterday. I'm thinking. So I did some more flower power yesterday. I've been working on two of the paintings. So I haven't done any journaling yet this week, but um, yeah, I've been working on those two and I'm thinking maybe I'll paint some flowers on the front 
of the journal. So that's what I'm kind of thinking anyway. And as usual, I don't have a plan. I haven't, you know, got anything ready really, apart from I've got this vellum paper out. And as I say, this old wrapping paper that I found, which was quite nice and bright. So I thought I could use that. And I've got my bits and bobs out that I've been making the past few weeks. That's um, about it really. That's where I'm at. So I've got some lovely comments as well on last week's video, so thank you so much. I'm obviously not the only person going through the Januaries. And um, yeah, I'm just resting up and staying in my hibernation cocoon nest, if you like, until I feel ready to come out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to get sewing now and see what creations appear. So I've just used my um, E6000 plus glue and put some glue on this pocket and then just going to press that down and leave it to dry. You actually see what I'm doing. I'm not doing a very good job here, am I? There we go. So I'm just going to yeah press that down and let's just get a a business card or something to stick that down because it's really sticky glue and I don't really want it all over me. So yeah, I quite like that on the inside cover. So I'll just put that to the side for now and... So let's clear some of this painting stuff away and then we can integrate some of this into our journal, clear a space, more like it. So let's see what we made. 
a little side project as well is I've found a little frame for the actual poem itself. So yeah, I'm just gonna frame the actual poem, put it on my wall in here. And this has been sitting here for quite some time, waiting to be framed, so I just thought why not pop it in there. Little second hand frame that I've had from way before. Probably should have cleaned that first, but um that's not too bad. So now she's in a frame. Yeah, so I've just stood that over there for now. Pop it on the wall probably at some point. Okay, back to our ephemera then. So I've just kind of done random little bits and bobs really for added interest and texture and places to write and hidden a few things with layers. So I'm not going to use everything on this page. I quite like the tissue paper with the vellum. Nice texture. Again, you've got a little place to write underneath. Something secret. And on this one, I just stitched a little bit of teeny tiny bit of ribbon. And then this one, a little stitch together. Again, feels really nice, love the texture. Three or more layers is nice, I'm thinking. Love this flash of pink. And yeah, on this one, I just put a quote. I think it's a Mark Antony quote, so I need to check that and cite him. And then yeah, the rest of the um, Secrets of a Fairy poem I used some of the fairy poem. I used some on the fairy page, if you remember. So this was the remaining part, if you like. So these are the bits and bobs, yeah, all together. And I'm thinking of um, doing a page in here. So I'm not going to use everything, but I'm going to do put, put something together with the poem. So maybe grab those bits, and I like the bit with the pink. And I like this bit because it's really tactile. And that's the rest of the poem. And I'm not sure I need any of this right now. So maybe put that to the side. So I think I'm just going to glue stick things down. Let's see. I might stick something under here. Um, like that. So it's kind of half hidden. And then I've got a couple of things hidden and I've got space to write here as well. Glue the edges of this then down the bottom. And I can just stick off the edge I think. Maybe I'm just going to put a little staple in here. make that a pocket. So let's just keep that on the bottom to glue it. So I think I'm going to glue this one here. part of the poem underneath there. Um, and then this this part here. Uh, 
and that here. That's how you spell it. We've really got some added textures there now, so anything else to do on there? I could add some glitter, but you know, I found this in my collage box, so a little face I drew a long time ago. So I might just, I don't know, I'm thinking I want something in that pocket and that could kind of sit behind. Um, let's just do a little something on here just to enhance the face. Maybe not make her quite so sad. Give her a little smile. Just a quick little situation there and then there's you know somewhere to write as well I like these places to write do I want to add anything else uh, we did those last week didn't we so and then yeah I've got my pocket now it's still a little bit tacky but not too bad oh and I found these teacups so I was just going to glue that in from a just a magazine 
and then that finishes off my teacup page. And then teacups. This is getting fatter. Um, and it's certainly feeling quite nice. So, yeah, it's kind of quite solid, even though it's kind of bendy as well, because I didn't pick a really hard cover. So I'm thinking that there is quite nice. cover up that staple as well. So let's have a look and see where we're at then. I've got, I've now got a pocket at the front and I might stick some words on here, not sure, not finished, um, but at least I've got a pocket that works now and I actually put a little staple just here and here to keep it really secure. But that paper's thick enough and um, yeah, it's nice to have a little pocket there now. And then nothing on there, so we just stuck a little quote by Sharon West here. Gratitude pages. And then here I've just tucked in a couple of things, so I've got my little person in there. And then I found um, one of the tags I made. Uh, with Airy Fairy, so this is her poem, so I thought, well, I should really put her in there. And then we've got little things hidden. Nothing on these pages yet. Done all these ones. So then we've got places to write on here, obviously. But the, the setup is complete. And then I put a dream come true envelope here. I've got um, a little secret note in there of uh, some of my dreams. So I've written some already for the uh, self-love tree. Another self-love tree as well. And then some wishes on the back of this one. So yeah, some wishes and places to write. And that was just a little bit of tissue paper, which I thought would be quite nice to write on. Um, and then again, a couple of things that I made a few weeks ago, a little tiny tag, just sticking that out at the top and then happy place and little place to write, secret notes. So I put in here the, um, the Anne Nin quote that we just wrote. Something to help the spirit, lift the spirits. So I'll just tuck that in there as well. And I think that's the end of that signature. So these are just a couple of things that we made today that I can slot in as and when. And that's current situation of the journal. So we just need to fix the front cover. And then... So I'll leave you in peace for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I hope you've enjoyed this little journaling session again with me. I'm going to tidy up a bit, I think, before I go home. 
Um, I don't really want to come in tomorrow to this pickle. You can't really see, but it's, it's kind of all over the floor. So I'm going to do that and try to get your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.